Drive-by is a cross-play multiplayer car combat game with a bit of a delivery twist. So the goal is to outwit, outdrive, and most importantly, outdeliver your rivals. Hello. Hey. Um, so I'll introduce us. My name is Max. Uh, I'm from Glitches, and we're here today to show you Drive-by as part of the London Games Festival. Um, I'm probably best known for things like Sea Hero Quest, a game that helps scientists understand more about navigation and help them tackle the uh, kind of issue around dementia, and Plunderland, a game that was featured on the Apple Store uh, worldwide, kind of a, a seafaring pirate adventure game. Sweet. My name's Mari. I'm the social media and community manager here at Glitches. I am from and currently live in London. Um, this is actually the first video game company I've ever worked for, but I do come from a long history in the UK and global escape room industry. So yeah, we're here to show Drive-By and Drive-By is uh, about delivering packages at high speed, but it, it's become more than that in its development process. It's become a party game that you play with your friends cross play. So Drive-By is going to be out on Switch and PC, and you can seamlessly join games between you and your friends um, on either device. Um, we, we set out to make something that would be really accessible, akin to kind of a Mario Kart or a, a crazy taxi. And I hope that when you play the game, you'll see a lot of those influences inside Drive-By. Um, yeah, I look forward to you getting your hands on it. So what you're about to watch is a drive-by trailer. It gives you just a little bit of that drive-by flavor and what to expect when you play the game for real. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is drive-by. We call it kind of twisted vehicle combat. Um, one of the modes in it is piggy bank, and that's what you're seeing here. It's kind of frantic mode where you're all chasing after the pig. Three, we'll see that a little two, bit more detail now. So you've got this big glowing pig in front of you, and as go. soon as the it goes three, two, one, your goal is to grab that pig as quickly as possible and keep on to it as long as possible as well. And it's all about um, holding the pig to earn money. And that's just one of the modes in Drive-By. We also have uh, Delivery Battle and Payday. But this one's awesome because you're really just like running around the map trying to find who has this pig, trying to take it from other drivers, and then, you know, kind of using emotes to show off about how, how yeah. well you that's what you can see up on your screen when the screen fills with like dollar symbols or lols. So when you kill someone else, you have the chance to kind of like troll them a bit by firing a bunch of emotes in their face. And there's some really funny emotes. Like uh, we personally love like the, the saxophone, the electric guitar that plays this little kind of riff. Um, and this is shown here, the, the amazing customization options you can, you can kind of unlock through playing the game. Yeah, exactly. There's six uh, playable characters in season one, and each one has a very different vehicle and a different play style as well, so you can really kind of make it your own. Yeah. And that's the trailer. <laughs> so up next is an exclusive look at the Drive Pi gameplay. So here you can see the Glitchers team playing a heated piggy bank and delivery battle match. But first we're going to look at the customization options you've got in Drive Pi. So here we've got some of the customization options, and there are loads to get in Drive Pi. Um, you can just see a few boost trails, there are wheels, there are different paint jobs you can get for your vehicle. Um, it's really just to show off and make this whole game your own, you know, like we want you to look at your vehicle and go, this is my car! <laughs> Here you can see the van showing off in amongst the other two players that are waiting to start the game. And here we're just adding one more bot because we've got three live players and we just want to fill that extra fourth slot with um, a bot. I mean, that's the cool thing about drive-by, right? If you've got just one friend to play with, but you're playing on your own, there are so many ways to kind of make the game, uh, you know, just come to life. It's, it's meant to be played with four people, but the bot system's amazing at kind of filling in the gaps, or you can go online and pull people off the internet if you dare. Um, <laughs> Mari, do you want to talk about the voting? Yeah, now we're just casting our votes, so everyone who's in a game gets to vote on a different map and a different game mode. So there's piggy three bank. different game modes available in this exclusive um, preview. So we've got Piggy Bank, we've got Delivery Battle, and a special mode we did for Valentine's. But it looks like we've picked Piggy Battle. This is, I think this is one of my favorites, really. Um, very simple to explain and born out of the need to tell people about the game really quickly. So it's perfect for this video. You get the pig, you hold the pig, and that's the only way to make money in Piggy Bank. And you can see all the other cars careering around the, the driver with the pig to try and steal it off them. 
and then suddenly the objective changes and it's all after the pig across the other side of the map. And at your disposal you'll see we have uh, various different power-ups. So someone just used, uh, well someone just used an electric shock and before that they used a uh, freeze ray I think it was. Um, that's your arsenal to get the pig back. You can either drive as fast as you can or you can absolutely destroy your opponents by blowing them up. Depends on how lucky you are with which power-up you pick up. Yeah, you can use power-ups and you can also use like the power-up that is the handbrake, you know? Spinning around the corners, playing tricks on your friends, um, fake-outs is what we call them. And anyone who loves kind of J-turns or any of that fun stuff that comes with driving games will really like the way that you can you can kind of like mix and match the boost and power sliding and handbrakes all together to just like oh, evade your, your friends in piggy bank. Although you can't evade them for long, you'll see it just flashed up on fire. That means that you are now visible on the map at all times. <laughs> for having the highest score, it's a little penalty, so everyone knows where you are and knows how to target you with their power-ups. And, and we took a lot of inspiration from um, Rocket League for the way the, handle, the, the cars handle. So we really wanted to make it so it was very kind of stop start you didn't feel like you had to really accelerate slowly the cars are almost instantly into full speed and as you release your your, your fingers off the off the trigger they almost instantly stop as well so you can really like fly around the map um and it kind of acts a little bit more like a go-kart than you'd expect um initially but it becomes really fun to kind of jump straight in and they're very accessible and right now I think we're driving around a map called Kingsland. So this is one of two or three maps available at start. So we've got Kingsland, we've got two bridges, and we have a brand new map, which we haven't announced yet, but our community voted on it. But as you can see, all the different maps are set in this really cool neon cityscape. So your goal is, of course, to, in delivery battle, deliver as many parcels as possible. Um, and your environment is this kind of near apocalyptic, I don't want to call it apocalyptic, but this kind of <laughs> dystopian future where sort of consumerism is king and everyone kind of uh, has these hypnotic glasses on and you'll see the kind of uh, billboards to drive around. They're encouraging you to buy more, <laughs> consume, that kind of thing. Yeah, so like an imagined dystopian future, not too far from reality where consumerism has absolutely taken over and people are encouraged at all times to buy more stuff. What I love about it is the neon lit cityscape gave us this opportunity to really show off the, the gloss and the shine of, 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 of the car's kind of body paintwork. Um, the idea was to have the, the signage kind of rippling over, uh, over, the, over the vehicles and take from films like They Live um, where, and, and, and Warriors, where you've got that kind of counterculture in the graffiti, um, but we've, you've got this kind of like hidden messages in the signage everywhere around the map. I mean, we, it's not so hidden when you can read it. It just says like, buy now, <laughs> buy more stuff. Um, but at the speed you, at which you play drive by, you need all that information at hand to kind of get it in, in your head because it's so fast paced. Right, back to the gameplay. So here we are. Currently, Mash is in the lead as usual, and the rest of us are kind of careering around the corners trying to catch up with him. Um, as you can see, it's not always so easy to grab that pig back once someone has the pig back. Especially not when they're a very good driver. As it's an invasive pig. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just a lot of the game of this particular one was me careering around the map with a power up trying to catch Mash. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun when you have a good group of friends to play with. So we had a lot of fun with the community during our beta as well. What, what's really stand out, I think, about Piggy Bank on top of the other modes, not just that it's simple to explain, but it's also really easy for young players to get involved with. It's not a complex game in, in that you have to be very careful about where you drive or if you hit something. It's it's kind of like bashing into the walls, a little bit like Dodgems. Um, I, I love the description that someone gave us. It's like Dodgems and Amazon had a baby. Um, there, there's all these kind of interesting takes that the community have had where they kind of make these amazing comparisons to real world things um, but above and beyond like all of that stuff it's just fun the short game sessions we wanted to build something that you didn't have to put like months and months of your time into to compete online you could pick up the controller or pick up your switch and be competitive in the very first game 
as you sort of dive further into it though, you'll notice that there are kind of deeper levels of strategy. Um, but there's still that opportunity for someone to come along and just like take the crown off you at any point. Um, so yeah, like fun for all ages really. And of course for those who do want to take the game really seriously, we are doing our seasons in levels, up to 100 levels, which is quite hard to achieve, but there are some seriously awesome rewards when you do achieve them. So for example, different customizations, we're also having extra characters, for example, unlockable at higher levels. Um, yeah, and it's some serious hour time and a good way to get to those higher levels if you want to take the game extremely seriously and show off for your mates with a really exclusive paint job, for example. Match over. And I love that countdown because it kind of shows you that even to the last second, the game can go in direction. Um, and that's another thing that's so great about drive-by. That kind of tension all the way until that last second, and then you don't know who's won. So on, on this video, Mari came second, Mash was first, and you get these awards. So Mari got death and destruction. And oh, he's yeah. also shown who's her rival. So Crime, <laughs> the bot that we added at the, at the start of the video, became the, the player that she's now got a kind of hard, wide rivalry with. <laughs> I kind of love that. It points out who you should go for. <laughs> Exactly, and you'll see on the left-hand side of the screen, oh, it's just gone, my challenges. So I was about 50% of the way through getting a challenge, which unlocks a new the level, which is a new um, shader for my badge as well. And this is cool. This is delivery battle. So you can see like a giant load of packages in the middle of the map. And this is, I think, where people made comparisons to Crazy Taxi. What do you reckon, Mari? Perfect. Yeah, I think so. But this is where people start making comparisons to real world. As you're <laughs> speeding around your little delivery truck, trying to get as many deliveries Perfect. as possible. I've spoken to many delivery drivers and they say, yes, this is exactly what it's like out in the field oh, when you're fire. making your deliveries. Um, so you see them pop up on the map and you see you've got to kind of collect your parcels and then speed off to the next person who's requesting a delivery. And then they have little boxes in their hand Perfect. and they just... <laughs> Yeah, I think if you kind of get the feeling that the delivery drivers nice. are probably throwing the packages out the window from their van as they speed past, and this is very much that realised. <laughs> um, but we're not digging at delivery drivers, we understand this is a tough job. And uh, I think during the, the sort of like pandemic, everyone's Perfect. like, it's not just tough, it's essential. Um, Drive-by uh, really looks at um, this kind of like game mode is a little bit of a split nice. between making your own deliveries and then attacking the other players. We didn't want to make it so it was a race to each delivery because it felt too competitive all the time. So in, in delivery battle, you're really just kind of, you've got your own packages to deliver and everyone does. And then when you want to get a little bit of extra nice. um, money or points, you can go after the other drivers and, and shoot them in a rocket. So it's got a nice kind of mix between slightly chill Perfect. and very stressful. <laughs> And if you want to take it really seriously, if you look closely, you can actually see other other players' names around the map. So as you drive past a delivery point, if it's not your delivery, I might see that it's Mash's delivery, and I can plant a cheeky mine there, so when Max goes to make his delivery, he'll be blown up in one shot. So you can take it quite Perfect. seriously. You can go very aggressive in this mode if you want to. Yeah, and I think that, that could lead us nicely onto some of the, the power-up combinations, because nice. um, we realise that it's Perfect. so great to have a rocket, but if you can't do anything about it, it's pretty one-sided for the person who has the rocket. So we've built in some uh, some amazing things like the mine, uh, the magnet here. You can magnet someone, but if you did it at the wrong time, the player can just boost away. Uh, and same with, well, that rocket was basically impossible to avoid. But you can see that players drop little piles of money that you can collect as well afterwards. Exactly, yeah. And of course, um, the, my, one of my favourite ones is if you have the electro shock nice. and you go past a mine, you can actually trigger that. So if someone else is sitting next to a mine, it might be their own mine, so they're invulnerable for that, but if you blow it up, everyone's dead <laughs> in a good way. So there's some really clever ways you can combine those power-ups. And another one is, of course, um, again, the electric shock with the rocket. You can just literally make the rocket fall out of the sky right in front nice. of you and then throw a quick taunt when that rocket didn't fire. <laughs> So you've just seen a little sneak peek at our game Drive-By. Um, shout out to London Game Festival for letting us show uh, Drive-By. It was a real honour to be part of the official selection. And you can find Drive-By on Steam and Nintendo eShop at the end of March. And if you want to keep up with all things Glitches in the meantime, you can also follow us on at Glitches on Twitter. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you.